Okay. So let's start with this uh, theory of trigonometry. So I hope you know the basics of trigonometry. So as you can see here, just a second. So when it's a right angle triangle trigonometry, if I consider this angle as theta, then sine theta is going to be opposite upon hypotenuse and uh, cos theta is going to be adjacent upon hypotenuse. Tan theta is going to be opposite upon adjacent. So these are nothing but the trigonometric ratios. So that's why they say ratios. So something upon something. Now, these are the other three trigonometric ratios, which are cosec theta is one upon sine theta, sec theta is one upon cos theta, and cot theta is one upon tan theta. So these are the six trigonometric ratio. The main trigonometric ratios are sine theta and cos theta. From that, we derive all the other trigonometric ratios. Because from that, we get tan and tan, and from that, the reciprocal of all those things are nothing but cosec sec and quad. Now, the thing is, the problem with triangle is that uh, we can only find trigonometric ratios till 90 degree, not even 90 degree, below that 90 degree. But to find the trigonometric ratios of other angles, which are more than 90 degree, be it 1000 degree, 10,000 degrees or whatever. So be it even 400 degrees for that matter. So even if it is 400 degree, then we are going to use unit circle for that thing. Now we are not going to get detail in, we are not going to get into so much of detail with respect to the unit circle. I'm not going to take the proof, but I'll just explain you in short. Now see, 400 degree is nothing but 360 degree plus 40 degree. So at the end, 400 degree is nothing but 40 degree. These are also known as uh, circular function or periodic function. So they keep on repeating again and again. So even for 400 degree is nothing but 40 degree. And for that matter, even 760 degree, which is uh, 720 plus 40. So two rotations and after that again, 40 degree. So it's the same value. Now the thing is, uh, if I just consider a unit circle, as you can see, if I just make a triangle like this OAB, I'm just considering any point A which is x comma y. So AB is going to be y and OB is going to be x, just like normal x and y coordinate that way. So with respect to that, if this is the angle theta, then sine theta is going to be opposite upon hypotenuse, which is y by r, and cos theta is going to be adjacent upon hypotenuse, which is x by r. Now this is valid for all the values, like this, 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 any value on this circle. And that's why we can get any trigonometric ratio through this. Now if r is equals to 1, this is valid for any of the circles, so we'll just consider a circle with radius 1. So therefore, sine theta is going to be 1 and cos theta is going to be x. From that, we determine. So in short, for finding any trigonometric ratio of any angle, make a unit circle, that is a circle of 1 centimeter, 1 meter, 1 kilometer, whatever. And whatever the x coordinate and y coordinates of that circle would be, those are nothing but your cos theta and sine theta in simple words. Now, this is actually important when we need to find the inverse trigonometric, like, you know, finding the values of the trigonometric ratio at particular point or if I know the value at what angle we get those values for that also we need this thing now in calculator you must have seen if I just put sine inverse of 1 by 2 what we'll get we'll just get one value sine inverse of 1 by 2 is because for inverse function it has to be a 1 1 function that we have done we have done in functions so sine inverse of 1 by 2 the calculator is actually giving me only one value which is nothing but 30 degree but there are infinite values where sine is going to be 1 by 2. Just keep on adding 360. So it's going to be 390, then uh, 750 and so on. Also, it is in the second quadrant as well. Sine is positive in second order. That we'll run right now. I mean, just after two minutes. This is also at one, uh, like sine inverse, like, you know, at sine value of 1 by 2 is not even in 30 degree. It's always, it's also in 150 degree. Then 150, then you add, again at 360, it's going to be how much? It's a 41510. Again, you add like that 360 degree. So you'll get how much? You'll get 570 and uh, 300, so 870 and so on. So there are infinite values which will satisfy, but the calculator is just giving you one value. That's why we learn this inverse trigonometry properly. Now, the thing is, since we know the sine and cos value, as I know that all the trigonometric ratios values are dependent on sine and cos. So just the major sine and cos are important. So as you can see, the points will determine, like, you know, this, these points, this, the points on this circle will determine the value of sine and cos. And from that, we know tan, sec, cosec, cot, everything. So the thing is, in first quadrant, sine and cos, that is x and y, are always positive. That's why all the trigonometric ratios are going to be positive. In the second quadrant, cos is negative, but sine is positive. Right, so therefore only sine is positive. Here both are negative cos and sine, but sine upon cos, which is tan, is gonna be positive here. And uh, here 
cos is positive but sin is negative so that's why we can just write down this thing as ASTC we can just ASTC just remember that ASTC so here all are positive all trigonometric ratio in first quadrant second quadrant only sin is positive third tan is positive and fourth cos is positive that's it now for finding the value of theta for sin cos and tan very simple thing so I've just taken an example of x uh, sin theta is equals to minus 1 by 2 purposely I've taken negative value and the domain is between 0 and 360 degrees. The theta can val uh, take values range actually is from uh, 0 to 360 degree. Now what we are going to do, we are just going to find out sine inverse of 1 by 2 first. That is value of theta in the first quadrant. That's the procedure. So at uh, where sine is 1 by 2, so sine is 1 by 2 at 30 degree. So we get this one value 30 degree. But the thing is on the basis of the sine, that is S i g n sine, okay, plus minus we will decide which quadrant it will be in. So since it is negative here, sine is negative in third and fourth quadrant. As you can see here, it is negative in third and fourth quadrant. So accordingly, we have to find the values. Now in third quadrant, it's going to be what? It's going to be 180 plus 30. And in fourth quadrant, it's going to be 360 minus 30, which is nothing but 330. See here, as you can see, this is always going to be the rule for all the trigonometric ratios, be it sine cos and sine cos quad sec cos cot we are just going to convert it into sine cos tan and then we are going to use the same formula now the thing is in first quadrant because even if it is minus 1 by 2 or even it is minus 0 0.75 or something like that always we will find out the first quadrant value that will be theta now if the value we are getting in second quadrant then it's going to be 180 minus theta or pi minus theta if the angle is in radian in third quadrant it's going to be 180 plus theta or pi plus theta and in fourth quadrant it's always going to be 360 minus theta or 2 pi minus theta now to summarize this thing we can say we get four values in four quadrants for any trigonometric ratio two positive two negative for any trigonometric ratio except for that fact 0 90 180 270 that's a different story but normally we will always get two negative two positive so for example let's say tan theta so tan theta will have value 0 0.45 positive here 0 0.45 positive in third quadrant negative 0 0.45 in second quadrant and negative 0 0.45 in fourth quadrant obviously with the graph also you can relate it to these things okay so that's why we uh, just going to understand the graphs of trigonometric functions be it trigonometric function be it any graph be it anything the design of the trigonometric functions will always be same and don't worry we are going to come back to this uh, uh, inverse trigonometry later when it comes to 2 theta 3 theta and all those things but before that we are just going to understand graph to just make it better so now see Design will always remain same for be it sine cos tan. Okay. At the end of the day, there will be uh, the difference with respect to amplitude, like how huge it is, how wide it is, or how it is shifted up down. Okay. There is a uh, horizontal shift as well, left side, right side, but you don't have it, so don't need to worry about it. Now, for example, sine x is always going to be like this. It will start from zero, 90 degree one, then 180 degree zero, and then like this, 270, 360. Then here also we'll start with zero, so cos will start from one. And then it would be just like sign, like the design sort of like that only. Just it will start from 1. So as you can see, sine is actually S like this. And cosine is actually C like this. If you just rotate it and see. There's nothing for tan actually. Now for tan, uh, tan is kind of a different graph. So here the value of tan starts from 0. And till 90 degree it goes on till infinity. So as you can see, it goes on till infinity. Like that it's going to be. Then 90 to 180, it will start from negative and then 180, 180 by 0, then 180 to 270 again up, then like this and so on. Now the thing is, the uh, the method for all these things are same. You just need to understand the amplitude first. Now see, first of all, time period. So just a second, where I have done amplitude? Okay, amplitude. Okay, take care. I have just uh, introduced you here only. Okay, now what about time period before we go further? So let's talk about time period. Time period is actually the one cycle it takes. So here time period is going to be one cycle. So for sine and cos, it is 360 degree or 2 pi. It's not 360 by 2 pi. It's 360 or 2 pi. Because see, now this is sine. Okay, sorry. This is sine. Now it keeps on repeating, it keeps on repeating like this, like this, like this, like this. So one cycle will take how much time it is going to take 360 degree or 2 pi. Similarly for cos, it's like this and then it keeps on uh, going like this. So obviously the cycle keeps on repeating. So that's why one cycle, how much time it takes, so it's going to be 360 degree. 
but for tan as you can see the cycle actually repeats only till red region right so only till red region it repeats so it's going to be 0 to 90 and then that 90 to 180 wala thing and then this thing keeps on repeating so that's why for time period of tan is actually only pi radian or 180 degree now what about the graph so first thing if i have f of x is equals to 2 sin x that means what we are changing the amplitude amplitude amplifier we amplify or we just reduce it so that is basically amplifier now the thing is amplitude if it is 2 sin x that means what when uh, the normal sign graph is only till 1 like uh, this is the black one is the normal sign graphs as you can see the black one so uh, if it is uh, if it is 2 sin x then it is what it will just be double two steps up and two steps down so as you can see 0 1 2 and 0 minus 1 and minus 2 so it will vary from 2 to minus 2 okay when it is g of x is equal to sin x minus 1 now this is the green graph i am talking about now the thing is we'll just make it g of x plus 1 is equals to sin x why i am doing this thing because this is the similar rule for even a quadratic equation sorry quadratic graphs cubic graph all the trigonometric graph logarithmic graph everything is going to be the same you can just consider this thing as y plus 1 is equals to sin x so y plus 1 i am making a change of 1 in y axis that means what it will go one step down see remember when it is plus 1 it's going to take one step down when it is plus 2 it's going to take two steps down when it is plus 3 it is taking three steps down but when it is minus 3 it is taking three steps up now theory is sort of different maybe i'll take some other video of this sketching thing but here y minus 3 is equals to sin x we will get so there is a change in y similarly you don't have this thing but if there is x minus 2 then it will shift two steps on the positive side of x-axis you have this thing in quadratic but you don't have in trigonometry that's why i'm not going to get into the detail about it but the rule is same so if i'm changing y with respect to minus 3 that means what it will take three steps up so here it is sin x minus 1 so that's that means what it will take one step down so it's going to be 0 to minus 1 it will be amplitude i'm not changing so that's why it's just a normal way here it will vary from 0 to minus 2 as you can see one step up one step down now this is very important what if we have sin 2x sin 2x means what just compare it with this normal sin x graph you will observe that sin 2x graph will be faster of course it's twice of this sin x thing so what will happen whenever this is the situation that is a sin x and then this is sin 2x whenever we need to compare the obviously the pink graph is going to be faster it is double speed of that sin x so that means what it will cover two cycle instead of one cycle in that 0 to 360 degree or the time period of this graph would be what is going to be 360 by coefficient of x which is nothing but 2 and that's going to be 180 degree so instead of uh, taking 360 degree time to complete one cycle it will just take 180 degree it's always going to be the same for sine and cos as well okay for tan also we are going to use the same principle at the end of the day we should know the design that's it we'll take the tan example of course uh, in the in the question tan graph and all now uh, <clears throat> time period is what the theta required to complete one cycle whatever it is so as you can see i have mentioned one step up one step down whatever h of x 2x so 2x speed lesser all these things have been mentioned uh, if it is 4x that means once it will take four cycles so the time period is going to be what 90 degree so instead of just covering one cycle in 360 degree it will cover four cycle in 360 degree or one cycle 90 degree and then it keeps on repeating now finding theta will continue what if it is sine 3 theta is equals to minus 1 by 2 now same example i have taken previously i have taken sine theta is equals to minus 1 by 2 this time i have taken sine 3 theta is equals to minus 1 by 2 same procedure we'll find out where sine is 1 by 2 we got it as 30 degree negative that's why third and fourth quadrant third quadrant we got 3 theta is 180 plus 30 A fourth quadrant we got 3 360 minus 30 which is nothing but 330 at the end theta is what theta is getting with 70 and 110 i just divided by 3 now since it is 3 theta now this is important now since it is 3 theta that means what it will cover three cycles the time period of this thing is 120 degree though it is not required but i'm just telling you that for three cycles the time period is 120 degree 360 divided by 3 or you can just imagine your yeah, three cycles it will cover instead of one cycle in 360 degree the time period is 120 degree which is not important but remember if it is 3 theta you will get 6 values generally when it is 0 to 360 degree if it is 4 theta then you will get 8 values if it is 5 theta then 10 values 100 theta 200 values you will get between 0 and 360 okay so for finding the other values of theta uh, look at this graph so this is sine 3 theta ka graph and i have uh, like you know it is taking 3 cycles instead of just 1 cycle between 0 and 360 degree 
So as you can see, the, the first two values which we got was 70 and 110, which I have marked it here. You can see it. This is 70 and 110. Now for the rest of the values, what we have to do, we just have to add 120 degree. Oh yeah, time period is actually important because there is a gap of 120 degree. So we are adding 120 degree to get the next cycle where that next value is there, which is going to be 120 degree. We are going to keep on adding it. Again, 120 degree will add. Again, 120 degree will add. Again, 120 degree will add. And finally, we will get all the values. So the first two values we got was 70 and 110. Here we are going to add 120, 120, we get 190, 230. Again, we are going to add 120, we get 310 and 350. By chance, by chance, even if you add 120 again, so it's going to be what? It's going to be 430. But 430 is not in the range of theta. So we cannot take the values of theta right so that's why we won't take those values so till 350 we will get six values so that's why so therefore if sine cos tan 2 theta 4 theta so if it is 2 theta then 4 values by adding 180 degree 4 theta 8 values by adding 90 degree because the time period was 90 degree so we are just gonna add 90 90 to this now for radian also we'll have the same process but with 2 pi instead of degrees so if it is a uh, four cycle then we are gonna add pi by 2 pi by 2 2 pi by 4 which is pi by 2 that way also if the range is minus 180 to 180 or which is minus pi to pi sometimes they will ask you i mean most of the time they ask you they won't give you directly 0 to 360 degree but sometimes they ask you minus 180 to 180 for that what we will do now here these are the values we got 70 110 these were in the range no problem between minus 180 and 180 so it was fine but 190 was not in the range 230 was not in the range 310 was not in the range 250 was not in the range so these four values are not in the range so what we are going to do so see we can add 360 we can subtract 360 remember this thing 400 degrees nothing but uh, oh yeah, 40 degree by subtracting 360 degree actually we get it so here also we'll just subtract 360 from 190 we'll get minus 1 by 170 here also we are going to subtract 360 we'll get minus 130 here also we are going to subtract 360 we'll get minus 50 and again we'll subtract 360 to get minus 10 degrees so these are the values we are going to get for sign sign of that minus 1 by 2 if the range is between minus 180 and 180 with respect to pi of course you can subtract 2 pi or you can add 2 pi i think adding 2 pi won't be required but subtracting will be required that's how you will get it now the next topic is trigonometric ratios oh sorry identities now remember this thing we had cos theta sin theta x and y so same thing the first identity we are going to do it Using Pythagoras theorem, x square plus y square is equals to r square. r square is nothing but 1, so therefore cos square theta plus sin square theta is equals to 1. This is the first identity we get. Now what we are going to do, we are just going to divide everything by cos square theta. So we will get 1 plus tan square theta is equals to sex square theta. Obviously 1 upon cos square theta is sex square theta, sin square theta upon cos square theta is nothing but tan square theta. Similarly, we are going to divide the same, the same cos square theta plus sin square theta by sin square theta. So I'll get what? I'll get 1 plus cot square theta is equals to cos x square theta. These are nothing but the three identities which we want couple of things which you need to know wherever like wherever you have to prove LHS is equals to RHS if you're not getting anything don't worry just just uh, convert everything in terms of sine and cos okay second thing if you get 2 cos x square x minus 4 cot x minus 2 is equals to 0 or with respect to sine square and cos or tan square and sec or something like that make sure you use uh, the identities properly and convert everything in terms of cortex so here it is we are converting everything in, in terms of one trigonometric ratio be it cortex tan x sin x or whatever so once we do that now we will get a quadratic equation we are just going to solve it the quadratic equation uh, and remember whenever you get three terms is equals to zero definitely it has to be a quadratic so here we will just solve it and we are just going to take out cortex uh, common you get to a cortex minus 5 is equals to see don't do this thing huh don't do this thing that 2 cot square x is equals to 5 cot x and then you cancel this and this don't ever do that because the thing is cot can take values as 0 as well and you cannot cancel 0 it's just like you know 2x square minus x is equals to 0 you cannot make this thing as 2x square is equals to x and you can cut this thing no it's not correct actually you have to do 2x square minus x is equals to 0 you take out x common you get 2x minus 1 is equals to 0 you get x is equals to 0 or x is equals to 1 by 2 that's what we are getting it here also so obviously cortex is equals to 0 and see mostly you will get two values here cortex is equals to 5 by 2 you will get two values here obviously whenever you get cortex you convert better this in terms of tan x so tan x is equals to 2 by 5 and then you solve it to get the two values that's all you have in trigonometry that's it